Okay, so what I'm doing right here is I'm flying from uh, Chicago Heights to Gary, doing the Chicago Heights transition to the ILS 30. Now what I'd like to do is try to figure out how to change my destination to Lansing and then put in the approach for Lansing from my current position while I'm on this approach because I just changed my mind. I think this would be handy for switching it up on the uh, ATP check ride, going from approach to approach. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my flight plan, go to map, flight plan, go all the way to the top, hit edit, I want to change my destination to India Golf Quebec. Enter. Looks like so we're going from Gary to India Golf Quebec, which is great. Let's execute that. Want to uh, replace the active with the modified? Absolutely. Okay, so we're going back. We're going from Gary to IGQ, and it looks like the little airplane on the multifunctional display is in the process of turning. This is in simulator mode right now, and it's going to want to go to Lansing, which is great. But what I want to do is I want to make sure I activate the localizer 3.6 approach into Lansing, which I'll do that right now. So we're at the map screen. We can kind of see that we're turning and we're going to head back to Lansing. So what I want to do is I want to hit procedure. I want to select the approach at the destination airport. I would like to do the localizer approach. And I'm going to make sure. I don't want vectors to localize at 3.6. I actually want to do... I want to do the Chicago Heights transition, why not? Let's see, they have Wokola, Piatone, and Chicago Heights. So I'm going to do the Chicago Heights transition, and I'm going to hit enter. So what that's showing us is we've got Gary Airport to Chicago Heights, and then we're going to do localize, uh, localizer 36 transition. So what I want to do now is execute this. We want to replace it. It's giving us the usual messages. And I'm going to hit enter so that I can flip this frequency into the active here, so that's kind of handy. And let's see what it looks like. Looks like there's a discontinuity. What that means is if we go into the flight plan and edit it, we can get that discontinuity and hit clear. And then we can execute. So what it's showing us now is we've got a Gary to Chicago Heights um, route. Now if we wanted to change this and didn't want to fly from Gary to Chicago Heights and we just wanted to uh, maybe make Wokola the uh, initial approach fix, which it could be, and it is, go into edit, go down to Wokola, and you can hit direct to, and you can either go direct to, which is what we're going to do, or you can actually fly the Chicago Heights to Wokala leg, which is um, definitely possible, definitely depending on where you're at. We're going to hit direct to, and that's going to give us. Let's see what that looks like. It doesn't look like it took. Wokala, direct, and there we go. So now we're actually going straight to Wokala. If we look at the flight plan, that's where we're at in the flight plan. Perfect. Let's uh, zoom out on the navigator on the GMX 200, and that's exactly what we want to see. We can then go to the flight plan section in the GMX 200, and we can see, actually we're going from present position to Wokala, we're going to do the procedure turn, the Togak, and then on in. So, looks pretty good.